Site templates are a must-use feature if you're selling websites through WP Ultimo. With site templates, you can create a base website with its own themes, plugins, customizations, and content, which automatically gets copied when your customers purchase it. This is incredibly useful if you are a website designer that owns a WP Ultimo network. For example, with my own projects, I created a site template that's perfect for my network's customers industry. Now, when my customers purchase from me, they get a professionally built website that matches their business goals. And I don't have to do anything to set it up. In this video, I'll show you how site templates work with WP Ultimo and how to get them set up. Let's get started. Okay, here we are starting out on the WordPress dashboard. Now, uh, for me, I'm on a staging site right now, so none of this, the things that I'm gonna do in this tutorial is gonna affect my live site, um, which is why you're gonna see like my plugins and my themes aren't updated. Um, you should be keeping your plugins and themes updated. Mine just aren't because this is not a real site. This is just a site that I um, made to record this tutorial. Um, also to do this tutorial, you obviously need to have WP Ultimo, um, installed on your site. If you don't, there's a link in my description for that. And of course you also have to have a multi-site setup installed, uh, for WordPress, which is what I have here. So the first thing I want to go over here are the general settings for, uh, the site templates. So we're going to go to WP Ultimo. And then we are going to go to settings and then we are going to click sites. And if you scroll down, you're going to come to something that says site template options. So I'm going to explain these to you real quick. There is a description for each one, um, which is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm just going to go into them a little bit more, uh, just in case you want to do these things and you don't know where to do them. So first thing we have here is the option to allow template switching. Now this is if you want your users to be able to switch between multiple templates. This is good if you want to give them the ability to switch to a different design if they change their mind or they want to try something new. Uh, when this is chosen, you also have the option to allow users to use their own sites as templates. That means that they can copy a site they already created and duplicate it, clone it to make a new site that's exactly the same as the one they already have. Next, we have the option if you want to copy media when a template is duplicated. Um, it's probably a good idea to keep this on because if you don't, you will get some broken images. And then the last option we have here is that you can prevent search engines from indexing site templates. Uh, your site templates are part of your network, so the search engines crawl it just like they crawl all the other pages on your site. So you can stop that from happening by toggling this on here. And then when you're done, of course, don't forget to click save changes. All right, so now that we have the settings done, let's go ahead and create our first site. So go to WP Ultimo sites and then click this add site button. Then you want to give it a name. I'm just going to call mine um, video site template one because I'm going to make two of these to show you guys how we switch them back and forth and the different options they have with choosing them. Um, so this one's going to call, be called video site template one. And then for the site domain path, I'm just going to do um, the same name, just lowercase with dashes. And then for site type, we are going to keep it as site template. And this time we are not going to copy a site, but I'm going to show you how that works a little bit later. So then click add new site. All right, so now that's done, we have the site template. And if you look here, if you hover over my sites up in the top left, you're gonna see that site template right here. So whenever you want to make edits to this template, this is where you're going to do it. Now, this one above is the template that I already um, have on my network. So we're just gonna just pretend that one's not here for this video. Uh, this is the one I just made. So to make changes to this template, just go ahead and hover over it and click dashboard. 
Now, as a reminder here, we could build the site however we want with whatever pages, which whatever content and which whatever themes and plugins, and then it'll be copied onto the new site. So um, just to show you that, let's go ahead and go to appearance and go to themes. And actually, okay, let's just leave 2022 for this one. And then uh, we'll pick a different theme for the next template so you can see the differences. So we'll keep 2022 active. And then um, you could also go to plugins and activate whichever plugins you want to automatically be activated uh, when this site gets created for your customers. And then let's hop into the post real quick. Now, what I really want to show you here is the differences in between the two uh, site templates, the two sample site templates. So I'm just going to click a, uh, to add a post here, a new post. And for this post, I'm just going to title it template one. And I'm just going to write, this is template one. Okay. And then we're going to publish, publish. And then let's head back to the dashboard. And then I'm going to hover over the name of the site up here and then go to view site. And then we can see that the template one blog post is right there. So for the sake of this video tutorial, this template site is done. Now, obviously you're going to want to do something more impressive for your customers, but this is just the process. Really, you're just building the site on the site template. And you can come back and update this template later, which I do for my customers on my network all the time. When I want to add on new functionality, I update this template and the new customers will get the newer template. Now, say you want to give your customers another template option, but you don't want to do all the work of starting another template from scratch. So let me show you how to copy this one um, and make a new site template from this one. So go back to uh, hover over my sites and then go to network admin and dashboard. And then back to WP Ultimo sites and then click add site one more time. And this time we're going to title it video site template two, and then make the path video site template two. And then this is still going to be site template, but this time we're going to choose copy site. And then for template site, we're going to search and we're going to say search for video. And then video site template one comes up automatically. And we are going to keep copy media on duplication set. Cause like I said earlier in the video, if you don't do this, you might end up with some broken links. So then I'm going to click add new site. So now when you hover my sites up top, we have two uh, template sites that we created for this video for testing. So now let's go into template site two and go to the dashboard and let's go to appearance themes. And I'm going to activate this regular Astra parent theme here. You guys know that you're not supposed to use parent themes. Make sure you're using a child theme. Uh, if you're using Astra, there's a real easy way to create a child theme. You should not be making, you shouldn't be building sites exactly on the parent theme. That's a whole nother video. Um, but just of make sure for these template sites also, you're using child themes made for the template. But for this video, just to keep things simple, because this isn't a real site, and I'm going to delete it after the video, I'm going to click activate. So we have two different template sites with two different themes. So now let's create some different content for the different site template. So let's head back to posts. And then let's just go ahead and trash this template one post. And then let's create a new post. And then let's call this one template two and then say this is template two. And then hit publish and publish again. And then let's head back to the dashboard. And then let's view this site. So now you can see this is a totally different theme. 
and this one says template two. But if you hover over my sites and then hover over video uh, site template one and then go to view site, you'll see the first site template we made. So congratulations, there you go. Now you have two site templates made. So the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to set these for sale. Okay, back at the dashboard, and the first thing we have to do is add those site templates to a product. So go to WP Ultimo and then products, and then hover over the product you'd like to um, connect the site templates to, and then click edit. Then under product options, choose site templates. And you want to make sure uh, allow site templates is chosen here. And when it is, you can pick which site template selection mode you want to use for the product. And here we've got two options. You can either assign a site template that's used every time for this product, or you can choose, um, choose available site templates. So if you click assign site template, then you just scroll down and uh, choose whichever template you want assigned to that product. Now note here, you can only choose one. If you try to choose two, it's gonna shut off the other one. If you want to allow them to choose between multiple templates, go ahead and pick choose available templates up here, and then you can mark if the templates are available or you can put them as not available, and you can also choose if you want one of them to be pre-selected. When that's done, don't forget to click save product. So when you choose to allow site templates and you only allow one site template, that's it. When they pick the product then um, and they check out with it, then that's the site template that automatically gets created um, for their website. If you're allowing them to choose between multiple available site templates, you're going to have to add that to the checkout form so they can pick while they're checking out. So to do that, head over to checkout forms under WP Ultimo. And then when you're here, go ahead and uh, hover over the form that you wanna add this product to or that this product is already on, um, and then click edit. Now, I already set up this form uh, for this tutorial, uh, but just so you know what I, I did, it's just really a basic uh, template checkout form. Uh, I did put pre-selected products and I, um, if I edit it, you'll see that the only product I chose was video tutorial product. Uh, you would go ahead and choose your product here. You would search for it. And of course you want to make sure it's the product that the templates are attached to. And then next thing you want to do is we want to add the field that allows them to choose templates. So then click the add field, add new field link, and then pick templates. And then uh, choose all the templates they're allowed to pick from. So we just want those two that we created earlier. Uh, you have the option to hide this when pre-selected so customers don't see this if they're clicking the field from um, when the template was selected through the URL. And then you could click the to choose for which template selector template you'd like to use. That's funny how that's a template selector template. Uh, I'll just keep mine at clean and then click save field. And then I want this template field. I see, feel like this makes more sense to be directly under the product. So I'll move that up there and then I'll click save checkout form. And then when we click preview, we can see that they now have the option to select which template they'd like to use. And that's it. If you need more help with checkout forms, there is a video for that in the description. But that's it. Now you know another way to automate your website as a service business using site templates with WP Ultimo. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I post a ton of WP Ultimo tutorials. If you are making your own website, I have a website roadmap freebie download in the description that will help you out and tell you exactly what to do to get your site live. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching.